Now with Dolby surround sound. Sort of. Is that it? Hi and welcome to Historical. In this last instalment of the main Builder Space Invaders, we're actually finally going to add some sound on. Um, if I can just find a pencil one second, or something to point with. There we go. So, all we've done, we've got a little PHO speaker, just move that into the camera shop. Uh, just attached on to this little bottom of this plastic cup. Um, I did this on a, a video um, a little while ago, I'll bring up a little card now in the uh, top corner. Uh, but basically it's just connected to pins, let me just check, let's get my magnifying glass, I can't remember, I think it's pins 10 and 11, let me just double check, pins, good job I checked, it's pins 9 and 10, it doesn't matter which way around, which, whether it's positive to 9 or positive to 10, uh, it doesn't make any difference, um, and we're going to use a little library called Torn AC, or rather we're going to use that library as a, as a base, and then actually I actually did a few alterations to it to make it work as I want it to in here. Uh, one of the things it didn't do was provide a sort of noise channel. It just provided literally um, tones, which is great for firing sounds and things like that. But but I wanted a noise channel. Noise is good for like drum beats and explosions and things like that. Um, so it's essential for, for most shooting games to have a noise channel. Um, it didn't implement noise, so I altered the code and uh, added that in as well. Um, so I'll give you a link to the code shortly to download for the um, the new slightly changed version of the Tone AC library. Uh, but yeah, so I've connected that little uh, speaker onto pins nine and ten. It has to be pins nine and ten. We don't set them in any sort of like divine, de define or constant at the top of our code. We have to use them because it's the uh, it's the pulse uh, with modulation pins which the library uses um, so that. It basically vibr uh, pulses the um, PA so speaker on and off very quickly to provide the tone or provide the random noise. Now I say random noise, I'm not going into too much detail, but noise basically is just random tones change very quickly over a very short piece of t period of time. So that's how I did it. It's basically lots of different tones, all random, to provide that sort of hissing, sort of noise sound like an explosion. So we'll have a quick demo. Uh, I've reset the high score to zero as well, as you can see, so that we can actually hear the tune it g gives you when you, when, you, when you beat the current high score. So just have a quick play. I'll just actually point the microphone towards the PA so else it's not very loud. Oops, and in the meantime, I'm destroyed. Ah. And you get the idea. So I'm going to kill myself now, then we can hear the congratulatory music. And there we go, and that's basically it. Um, as in other other last two or three episodes, I'm not going to go into great deal in the code. If I have a quick look, I've included the Tone AC library. If you go online, just download that. It is not going to work with this code. As I said, I've extended this library, uh, altered it slightly so that it produces some slightly different noises and it has some of the facilities that I want to implement. So what you need to do, if you've already installed Tone AC before for some other project, you'll need to overwrite it with uh, my version. So if we go to the external web website now, and I can see the latest episode of Space Invaders episode 11 is on there for you to have a look at. And if we just scroll down to where we see this link here, click on that, and download it. And then just like we did in the previous episode, you need to open that, open your Arduino uh, library folder which is in uh, for Windows machine it's in uh, my documents under Arduino 
and then libraries it's probably something very similar on other systems and just copy it over and just say yes to any copy and replace or merging and if you've not already installed torn ac then you would just need to either copy it into your libraries folder like we just did when we're overwriting or you can add it via the um the normal sort of add library zip file um facility on the uh, tools menu so once you've done that and you upload you get the new code from uh, extronical.com you can upload it and you'll have the working code so as i say what we did we've put uh, a link to the library there and then we use it uh, as we want i'll just do a quick search for uh, torn ac to see where we've used it okay so yeah in the mothership that's the line that generates a sort of woo 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 the sort of woo 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 sound that um, we have uh, as the mothership goes across the screen and one of the main things I added as I said to the Torn AC library and I need to get it forked on GitHub and what have you um, was this noise AC as well um, we pass in a variable that tells us this noise channel will play it for a, a certain amount of time I'm not going into the details here if you want you can look at the library .h file which has it written in on what's happening here and this this will be set when the noise is finished playing so you know when it, it, you, you basically your your player ship is destroyed if that's what's happening or when you've finished the shooting noise um, and that's about it really um, it's not very loud as I said um, Tone AC is a better library than the standard Tone library. Well, I think so anyway, that's included um, in the standard Arduino. If you type Tone usually, so if I just give you an example, if we just type in Tone, then it puts it in orange because it's a standard one you can just use without including any library. However, Tone AC provides a little bit more volume, a little bit more control. I quite like it. And certainly for extending it in the way it did with noise and, and, and um, what have you, it was essential. So, in, this is now complete. This, the, the software for Space Invaders will not be changing anymore. This is the final version with everything in. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do in a later episode, which may be the next episode on this channel, or it may not be, is I'm just going to put in a small, small proper speaker in there to give you a bit more extra volume and oomph, which will require a very small amplifier. And I think it was the amplifier was something like 20 pence uh, or 20 euros, <laughs> 20 cents, something like that. Um, it really, really cheap. Um, and the speaker was something of, of a similar price as well, probably about 30 cents or 40 cents, something like that. Um, so we'll put that on in the next episode or so, and we'll get a lot more volume out of it. It's something I've not actually done, I've not actually built that circuit yet, so I've got I've got the amplifier, I've got the little speaker, so um, in a later episode we'll, we'll build that on and, and see how it works. But for now, that's your completed uh, Space Invaders. Uh, at some point as well, I will be mounting it on some sort of more fixed board. I won't be making an actual um, full circuit board for it. I think I'll just be building it on Vero board uh, or something like that. Uh, but for now, like and subscribe and share. And see you next time. <laughs>